Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Most of us would have gone through a situation where we had to plug in multiple devices like mobile phones, laptops, etc. using a single extension box. This would ultimately end in a tangled mess of wires, right? What if you could power all your gadgets without wires? That would be really great. In this video, we're talking about the concept of wireless power transmission. This idea is actually not new. Wireless power transmission dates back to the 19th century where Nikola Tesla built a tower that was capable of wireless power transmission. Wireless power transmission uses an electromagnetic field of a certain frequency as the medium of transfer. This frequency depends on the range of transmission. In order to transmit power wirelessly, a source and a receiver is required. The source and the receiver must be in resonance condition. That is, the natural frequencies of the two systems must match. A transmitter coil powered by an electric source produces a magnetic field around it. When a second coil, which is connected to the receiver, is introduced in the same field with the same resonant frequency, electric current flows through it. You must have heard about this principle. It's called electromagnetic induction. One of the recent applications of wireless energy transmission is in electrical vehicle charging. Charging cars without wires works in a similar way to the wireless phone charger you might already own, but just on a bigger scale. You might have noticed how you can lift your phone very slightly off its charger without stopping the flow of electricity. Wireless car chargers work in the same way, but in a distance measured in inches instead of millimeters. In such a system, the distance between the transmitter and receiver is minimal. So it is called near field wireless power transfer systems. Wireless charging system for an electric car includes two parts, a charging plate, which sits on the floor or could even be underneath the floor and a power receiver which is built onto the car. Both of them need to be within a certain range to facilitate charging. Near field WPT systems are of two types, inductive and capacitive charging. Inductive wireless power transfer uses coils that are coupled through magnetic fields while capacitive WPT uses plates coupled through electric fields. In both cases, an electronic unit which comprises of a high frequency inverter and rectifier with semiconductor devices is the enabling technology. If you are not familiar with these terms, don't worry. Stay tuned for more videos on our channel that will explain the same. For a mission of zero emission future, a city in Norway called Oslo is implementing wireless electric car charging stations in taxi bays having charging plates pre-installed on the Bay Area. Their plan is to achieve zero emission caps by 2023. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful. Stay tuned for more interesting videos and see you again in the next one. Alright, bye.